Uh, what's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into um, Jordan Lacey got served by his baby Mada. Let's get it. But oh. I finally just don't even know where to start. Don't come video. Um, Nate, you have beautiful skin when you do your face. I use a vino, friend. I, I knew this day was come, gonna come, bro. I knew this day was gonna come, and I don't, I don't even know where to start with this shit. Like, it, it just, it's never gonna end. It's never gonna end. But uh, yeah, bro. So I, I don't even know where to start with this, bro, because I can start from so many angles. Yep. You feel me? But yep. I finally got them papers. You know what I'm saying? I finally got child support papers. What pissed me off about this so much is like, right. anybody around you can really tell you, nigga, how much I love my daughter. If, if y'all can't tell how much I love my daughter through my videos, like y'all know this. Y'all know that's the love of my life. Y'all know that. Love ain't got nothing to do with it, brother. Are you helping that woman financially is the question. That's, that, that's what I love the most in my life, besides my, my family, what she considered family. But for, but for my bum ass baby mama, Damn. Bitter ass, lazy ass baby mama. Damn. To come and, and, and put me on child support knowing I take care of my daughter, knowing every time you ask me for something, I send it money. Even sending money for stuff that don't include, include her, but I send it because you don't got it. Oh. He should have put himself on child support first. I ain't even gonna care. Man, y'all, y'all don't understand like the shit. I, I, like the stuff I be, I be, I be dealing with, bro. Like especially when y'all know these women ain't shit. Put yourself on child support first, guarantee. Life would be better that way. It's so much stuff that y'all don't even know. Like I don't even know where to start, bro. But first of all, we gonna start off by we gonna open up these papers. I got all three right. child support papers. Um, I don't know, I don't know when these papers came. Right. All I know is that we checked the mail today and it was there. You know what I'm saying? Yep. On the regular, on the regular Wednesday, they was there. On a Wednesday, so regularly. We're gonna open up these papers. Yep. And we're gonna, we gonna, and then we're gonna talk about it. You feel me? We're gonna, we're gonna really talk about everything because I'm Push tired up. of sparing niggas' feelings. Yep. And 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 sparing people images and, and and all that when 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 my bitter ass baby mama don't do the same. Like you just, you just drain everything from me. You drain, you just drain. You want to drain all my money. You want to drain all my happiness. Like, I, I, like, what, what is it? She won't. We, we don't get to that. July eighth. Okay. So you, you been did this shit. You been did this. Okay. Uh. Hey, it's July twenty fourth. Okay. So you been did this. It says. Non-custodial parent name, Jordan Lacey. Custodial parent name, Sierra Johnson. Mm. It says, to serve you better, we offer two fast and easy ways for you to check on your child support payments or the status of your case to do so. You must use eight digit member ID that number provided. Okay, okay, I gotta call, I gotta call the number. By the way, like I, I, like, I could see if I was a deadbeat, you feel me, y'all? Right. I could see if I was a deadbeat and I didn't take care of my baby. Or I could see when she asked me for money and stuff, I don't send it because I don't want to. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's a big, before I open up this second one, y'all, it's a big difference between a nigga that love his child and want to take care of his child rather than a nigga that's getting his child taken away from him. You feel me? Y'all yeah. know every time we get into it, bro, she blocked me. She blocked my number. So if you block my number knowing I have to get in contact with you about my child, how am I supposed to do that? How, why, why are you blocking me out of, my, out of my baby's life? Because me and you get into it. Because me and you get into it. So you gonna block me out my baby life because me get, we get into it, so you gonna block my number? Or whenever I'm not blocked, you ignore my messages? But I'm a... But I'm so called deadbeat. And I you know what I never understand? Why when things like this happen, like the niggas don't take the uh, the baby mama to court? Now, nine times out of ten, you don't need the money. It ain't about the money. 
you want your baby. So I don't be understanding why these why these men don't take them to um put them on child. I mean, not put them on child support, but take them to court. And maybe they don't know. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they don't know. But yeah, they should they should start. I don't do this and I don't want to do that, right? Especially when these women taking they, you know, they babies away. That's ridiculous. Like, like y'all, bro, I'm, I'm, bro, this shit is pissing me off. Y'all don't understand this. It's, it's making, like, we, we gonna see, bro. We gonna, we gonna see. This. I ain't taking nothing out of this video, nothing. I'm leaving it just like this. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm tired of sparing niggas. Like, I can't believe this, y'all. I can't believe this. I love my baby. I love my baby and want to take care of my child, but since my bitter ass baby mama, she has the power to take her away from me and try to control her. Every time we get into it, you make it so hard on me to get in contact with her. Last time I had to come knock on the door, I had to come knock on your mama on your mama door, and yet, since y'all y'all was asleep at one o'clock in the afternoon, I had to knock on your mama door for you to unblock me. I had to tell your, your mom, like, hey, I'm just trying to see my daughter. Like, every time we get into it, you make it so hard for me to see my baby. For why? For like, why? Why you want to hurt me so bad? Why you want to take away something I love so much away from me so bad? Like, I don't, I, I don't understand. I don't, I don't, hold on, y'all. I don't understand, like, why you, why you do all this, all, all this weird ass shit whenever. I don't do nothing but look out for you. And, and, and cover you when you don't got when you don't got nothing. Whenever I first came back down, y'all, when I first came back down last year when Jazz brought me back down to Dallas, I got back on my stuff. Boom. I'm, I'm doing my stuff. Boom. But the person that I was with doing this YouTube stuff, you feel me? We not we wasn't together no more. But me having the heart that I have and the love that I still have for you, I bring you back around. Tell them, do videos, do this, do that, so you can get on your feet, do this, do that. You don't work. Your lazy ass don't want to do nothing. You, 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 you just lazy. All you want to do is sit back and suck money up out of me. I don't understand. I did nothing but look out for you. Every time you needed something, I sent it. Nigga, I bring you around recently. Even, even when we get into it bad, since, the, since I know you the mother of my child, I know you yeah, I don't have much to say yet because I just want him to get everything off his chest. The mother of, of my child, even when we would get into it, I was still and we will get back on talking terms because we're going to have to get back on talking terms because me and you have a whole child together. So we're going to have to talk again. We're going to have to get on good terms at some point. So whenever we get on good terms, what I do? Bring you around or do videos with you because I know you need the extra bread in your pocket. You feel me? But I guess you don't you don't see all that. You don't care about none of that, right? Like you don't care about the nigga genuinely was, was. I ain't I ain't talking about now because all that shit out the window. All that shit is out the window. But I guess you don't care that a nigga was genuinely like cared about you and I, I wanted you to I wanted to see you do good in life because you're the mother of my child. How many times have I sat you down and told you you need to do this, you need to do that? You can't teach a nigga work ethic, y'all. I'm no. sorry. Like he's like you either got it or you don't. Oh God. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand like why I'm really like receiving these, these, these child support papers, y'all. Whenever I love my child and I and I love my baby, yes, yes, you have have our baby, our daughter. You have our daughter more than me because I work way more than you. I get up every day and I work, my nigga. What you mean? Yeah, somebody said, or uh, Lundell said, this is the best thing for you. I promise. Now you can go on live, go and live your life. It's not about love. And you know, like, I think people think I'd be tripping when I say that. But, like, this is great. I wish y'all would just take yourself, but a lot of y'all probably don't know you can just take yourself. Ah, put yourself on child support. But, my nigga, after that, oh, the control is gone. Because if she decides to break the law, then you going to jail. You going to jail. You know you ain't broke. You gonna have to handle your candle when it comes to the bread part of it. That's why I wish y'all would just take yourself and put yourself on child support, but it is what it is. But they don't always get um thousands of dollars. I don't even think they would do you that. Like maybe a thousand. I, I don't know what he making. I don't know his funds, but I'm just saying it, it, you're not about to be paying twenty thousand dollars a month of child support. So it is what it is. But at least 
you will be able to see your child. And I know that sounds crazy, but y'all say crazier things. Okay, so, you know, fuck that. At that point, if she decides to hold you back from the baby and block you and all that, take her ass to court every time she do it. Judge, she not answering the phone. What you mean she not answering the phone? Judge, as you can see here on uh, Monday on the 17th of motherfucking September, she didn't answer the phone. And I wanted to pick up my baby. Not wanted, I needed to pick up my baby because that was my time. Okay? Telling you, she keep playing with you. When she decided to take this to the law, bet. Good. It's a great thing. And he'll see that. Fuck that. I I'm happy. Mm, I got two rents, two life bills. Nigga, I got bills. I got responsibilities. When people in, in, people in my family, when they got a problem, they come to me. That's why I stress so hard to your ass and I tell you, hey, you need to work. You need to get up and you need to do this. You need to do that. But I get hit with child support. Man, hold on, hold on, y'all. There's, 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 so, there's so much, oh my, bro, there's so much shit, y'all. Like, y'all don't, don't understand, but I'm going off on this topic because I'm receiving child support papers. You want me to send you money every month while you sit down and do nothing, nigga? You, you, you don't do nothing. You don't have nothing. You don't have a car. You don't have a place to live, but you want to drain all this money out of me. I'm going to go ahead and get into it. Then we're going to get into the second paper, y'all. But the reason why I can't see my daughter this time is because I sent her money. I sent her money, okay? I sent, I sent her some, some money. I don't care if it was $200, $300, $400, $2,000. It's the principal. So I sent her money, right? A week later, one week later, she texts me asking for some more money, boom, boom, this and that. I say, what happened to the money I sent you? The money I sent just for Kinsley, for Kinsley, food, for diapers, for whatever Kinsley needs, that's for Kinsley. I'm not, I don't send, I'm not sending you money to go miss off and go do what you got to do or take care of your personal problems. Your personal problems is not my personal problems no more. That's not my responsibility. And maybe, and maybe if every time we got into it, you didn't take my daughter out of my life, maybe some of your personal problems will, will be my personal problems and I will fix them for you, my nigga. But since you, every time you, we get into it or, or you see something you don't like, you block my number and take my daughter away from me, my nigga, because you know that's the, that's the, the biggest thing in, in my life that's like, like my, my happiness my love my everything but you want to take that away from me because you mad at me about something okay so like i was saying i see i see, I see her money right uh, one week later one 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 week later she takes me talking about hey can you do this 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 and that i say what happened to the money i just sent you ah uh, bah, 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 i gotta do this and that uh, i gotta i gotta i say respectfully me, that, that is not my problem. You don't know what I got going on over here in my personal life. You know what really, like, gets me with, with the men? I'm sorry. I, sometimes I feel as though if y'all really, really, really wanted them babies, y'all would go get them, right? Hear me out. When I say that, what I mean is, like, take her to court. Um, like CJ so cool. He knew he had an option to take her to court. He knew, but it was like, I ain't trying to do that to her until she took him to court. Then it was like, well, I guess I, I'm going to have to take her now. You know what I'm saying? I really feel like y'all know that y'all cannot fully take care of these babies. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm just, I got to keep it real on this end with these men because, Ultimately, y'all kind of want to see these babies when you can. It may be you the type that want to see every day. I don't know. So, you know, have grace with what I'm saying. But I'm just saying, like, if, if I really want my baby and I'm a man, I'm going to get her, him, whoever. I'm going to have my child. First of all, I got to figure out my laws, <laughs> What 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 can I do? That's number one. But number two, if she's fully taking care of the child, I would fund the baby mama. And I know that may sound crazy to some of y'all, but sometimes you get you it, it take a little to get a lot. Now I'm not about to fund your everything. Hell no. But I'm gonna make sure you off my meat. Period. Okay. But if you got a baby mama that just give you a lot of problems. I'm taking you to court 
and I'm going to get my child. Now, the thing is, when they get to having these babies full time, CJ so cool. I'm sorry, CJ, that I got to give you a stray, but I'm saying, y'all, it's the YouTube part of the, <laughs> of the reaction. CJ so cool instantly got a, um, a sitter or something. Like, he made sure somebody was there to watch him, okay? Because he knew you... It, Man, y'all niggas is working and all that. Y'all not watching these babies. Like, <laughs> for real. Yeah, and they do need set schedules. But the, his problem is, I get over there at 1 o'clock in the, in the p.m. And y'all still sleep. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all sleep. So maybe if if uh, the baby was with him, she would be up. You know what I'm saying? So we would never know because that's not... We don't know the situation. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I just feel like sometimes if they were so serious about it, they should take these women to court, period. Because you so know what type of bills I got. And you so know why I wake, my, wake up every morning and I get to it, nigga. Like, me and you, when we was broke together, I don't know if he didn't do nothing to you, but my nigga did something to me. Why y'all think I go so hard now? Because I know how it feels, bro. I know how it feels to be on the internet, making this money, do this and that, and, and, and fall off, bro, and be broke. Nigga, I had to go back and move with my mama. Nigga, I been through it, nigga. On, on my ass, they have nobody called broke. I couldn't even go get a haircut, my nigga. What you mean? I know how it feels to be broke and be down. I know how it feels. But guess what? Guess what? But I, that's why I grind the way I do, my nigga, because I know how it, I know how it feels, bro. I know how it feels, bro. And my, my mind racing right now, y'all. So so just Y'all know me, I got a family to feed, so let's get into this day. Every day. I'm not about to play with y'all. <laughs> I'm about to play with y'all. I take a whole six months off of uh playing outside to get my bread and, and, and everything I need to get, you know, together. And then I can go play. In the meantime, in between time, yeah, fuck that broke shit. Been there, done that, ain't doing it no more. Bear with me, bro. I'm, I'm just I'm just speaking from my heart right now because this shit is involving my daughter, bro. I already don't even get to see my baby, the, the highlight of my life, bro. So if I get to talking, if I get to talking about one subject and I go to the next one, y'all, and I'm talking out of order, bro, bear with me. I apologize. We know. Bro, y'all got to understand where, where I'm coming from. Like, I don't even know what the hell I would just... What I was just saying, bro. But yeah, yeah, I get up every day and, and I, I, I I work my nigga because I know what it feels like to not have nothing. So if you know what it feels like to not have nothing, my nigga, then every time you got around, you will be doing videos with, with me or whoever was in the house, even though we wasn't together. You know how I many times I tried to pull you up and all you do is bring a nigga down and you drown me. And now you take you take my 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 my, my baby, my daughter out of my life. You, 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 you try to control every time we get into it. You make it so hard for me to get in contact with my child. Do you not know, my nigga? Do you not know that you is not only hurting, trying to hurt me, but you hurting your daughter? You know that type of smile she has on her face when I walk in the building. You know how she, you know how she cry when I come in the building, my nigga. When I leave, you know, you, when I come over there and I visit her and I see her and I leave out, bro, you know how, how that affects her, how, how she start crying. So if you see that, why you doing that? Huh? Huh? Why are you doing that to her? All right, she, my daughter can't talk right now, y'all. My daughter can't talk right now, but baby, I, I promise you, one day you gonna understand. You gonna understand that you got a father in your life, my nigga. You gonna understand that you got I don't know why this video 30 minutes long, but he's upset. He's venting. I mean, shit. You got a father in your life that love you, bro. You got to understand that. And yes, I understand y'all that Sierra has, has her more than me. That's because I work. I work. At so, there it goes. Every day. And I told Sierra, I said, if you're going to get up and work, if you're going to get up and work like I... The problem that we're having in society right now, y'all, niggas think... That women can take care of the baby and work. And I mean take care of the baby, work, clean, cook, everything. Y'all, today, don't get me wrong, some women doing it. Don't get me wrong, but they struggling. <laughs> struggling. That's why in my household, it's a conversation. All right. 
What we gonna do? What you wanna do? What? Let me know, baby. If I'm cleaning up, taking care of the kids, you want me to cook? You want me to? Handle? It's no way in the fuck I'm gonna be able to get on a camera and be like these. It's no way. <laughs> Now, some people can handle that. Don't get me wrong. Some people can really, really handle that. But some women simply cannot. So this is her first baby. Dealing with all this shit with with, with the baby and what comes with a little baby. She don't want to be on camera. And I I just kind of wish she would say that. But it's hard because you you don't want to tell the nigga like, man, (laughs) I don't want to do that. You know, but at some point you got to. And um, he don't understand that she can't work and do that at the same time. That's just and, and they not together, so he ain't trying to help her. Fuck you, lady. I don't. I don't want to help you. Wait, he offered her a nanny to move in his personal apartment so she could get herself together. She took him to court instead. N- fuck everything I just said. The baby's autistic too. Maybe she's afraid to have the baby with the nanny because of the autism. I do. Then we're gonna have to find somebody that specializes in autistic kids because me and her don't agree on me and her don't agree on on just anybody watching our daughter. Like we don't play that. Our daughter's autistic. She doesn't know how to speak. So if something goes wrong, if something goes wrong with my baby, I'ma crash out. I'ma crash out. So like at the end of the day, oh bro, he's emotional. He we, ha- he no. has every right to be. What's fucked up is she's not work withable. It sounds like he's trying. Shit, <laughs> man, he gonna have to take shot of the court. I, I, well, clearly she already took him to court, but he gonna have to co take her to court. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's given one side of do we know her side. Man, watching these videos with these two for the past, what, four years? It's the same thing every year. That's why he said this shit ain't going to ever end. I wish he wouldn't have never had a baby with that girl. And don't get me wrong, his baby's a a blessing now. No disrespect. But the problem is they can't get along. Them two just can't get along. You know what I'm saying? She's not rocking with what he talking about you know so it was y'all can barely coexist with each other so the nerve to bring in a you know a little beautiful blessing mm -mm, it wasn't gonna work like that play that so like i said bro if she was gonna get up and work bro we i told her plenty of times we're gonna have to find somebody that that specializes in autistic kids and since if you because we're gonna have to find somebody that specializes in autistic kids if you're gonna get up and work every day like I do. You feel me? And guess who's gonna have to support that? Me. I was gonna have to pay for that. Yeah. But no, you don't want to. You wanna sit up in that house with your mama all day and do nothing. And do nothing, my nigga. I'm done sparing you. I'm done. Um, okay, now that my car. Yeah, I understand. You're lazy, you mm. don't do nothing. All you oh. wanna do is suck my money up out of me, my nigga. I don't know. I don't know what it is. And then once you can't get your way, or once you, or once you get pissed off, or we get into it, my nigga, you wanna take her away from me. You wanna block me. You wanna do this and that. So you don't got the time to get up and work. You don't got the time to get up and work and do something for yourself, do something for your baby, for your child. But you got enough time to to to, to go all the way downtown, right? And, and, and take all that time and, and talk to the people and try to put me on child support. How you gonna put me on child support whenever they say where where does Kinsley sleep? Because Kenzie Shalom got her own room in that one bedroom apartment that you stay with your mommy in. Uh oh. Checkmate. 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 Now that's a checkmate. <laughs> checkmate. He got room. He got room. He got room. So she gonna fuck around and lose that baby. Uh Uh-oh. She showed up, okay? Because guess what? This one bedroom right now, I could upgrade right now and get a two bedroom. Uh Uh-oh. You better hurry up and do that before court. But uh uh-oh. 
Right now, my, my nigga, stop playing with me. Stop playing like I'm, like I, I wasn't, like I haven't been helping your ass out like the way I did, bro, and the way I do, my nigga. But he, to put me on child support, dog, he got upgrade. it's crazy whenever you know I love my baby, my nigga. He got an upgrade. Whenever you know I take care of my child. No, I'm not about to send you no more money one week later because the, the, what I sent you for her kids and diapers and her food and, and stuff and her wipes, she's not running out of all that in one week. What are you talking about? I know what it is to, 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 to be with her and stuff like that. Like, well, I don't know. Like, bro, I'm not dumb. Stop trying to play me like I'm dumb. And then once I don't want to send it to you, then this is why y'all you, haven't seen Kenzie. This is why I haven't been around my baby. That's just, that's just that, that, that's, that's just that, y'all. Like, that's the reason why I don't see my baby. You feel me? And that's the reason why I'm putting on these child support papers because she thinks just because she spent my money that I sent for my child on her personal problems, I got to just double back and send more. Nigga, no. No. I'm not sending you nothing, nigga. Man, hell no, nah, bro. I'm not, I'm not sending you nothing when you, you're lazy. You don't do nothing. You don't, you don't. And the fact that I was, the apartment I'm in now, the fact that I just sat here and just told you less than a month ago, until, until I lease this out at the, at the FOE crib, I said, you can stay here. After all the arguments we done did, after all the times you, after all the times that you took my baby out of my life and blocked my number and I can't see her and I gotta text your mama to see my baby, or I gotta come knock on your door. After all that, I still said, bro, you can stay here. The Patreon link is in a pinned comment. Let me, uh, I got you. Cause you the mother of my child. Wait, what YouTube, what YouTube you on right now? Matter of fact, I'ma just put it in the other one. You still trying to get on your feet? You feel me? I still care about you. I don't hate you. I didn't hate you. I hate your ass now, but I didn't hate you. So I say you can stay here at my one bedroom apartment. You can stay here and, and get on your feet. Still to this day, just a month ago, I, I was still trying to help you, my nigga. You want to go put me on child support? Yeah. Bet. And it, it's just like, bro, the reason why y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm so mad at this, bro, is because, like, I love my baby. I can see if I was a deadbeat. I can see if I was a nigga that doing what I'm doing and, see, and she asked me for some money and I tell her no, knowing that she got my baby. I can see that. But the fact that I just put don't in the my child to anybody around me that can tell y'all niggas I do not play about my baby. To everybody on Royalty's World, please tap into my Patreon. Please, please, please. It's a lot of great content over there. Like this video right here. I know y'all seeing it on this live, but it ain't always going to be like that. All right. I put out early release videos on Patreon. Uh, content, uh, copyrighted content on Patreon. Uh, fights. Drake's meat is on there. Just saying. So, duh, tap in. I, I, I just, I, so you, you want, you want to put me on child support so I can just send you money every day. I'm not every day, every month. Why you sit back and do nothing? Get off your ass, my nigga. For real. Like I get up every day and I work, y'all. I work, and I'm not even trying to make this whole thing about. Money, because it's not the whole thing about money. The whole thing is about my bitter ass baby mama. I don't know if you if you jealous of how I'm like living now or or whatnot because we were yes, yes she is yes. Both doing YouTube together and we didn't really succeed together. So now that I'm doing this and I'm on my stuff and you see how I'm working and stuff, like I don't know if you jealous or you mad or what, my nigga. But one thing for sure is that like I looked out for you and I. And I did care for you, bro. Uh, uh, just a month ago, even after the fallouts and all on the, the internet stuff, and like when I tell you, Sean Dunn, I, I hope he got all the receipts and the cash app receipts, and I hope he get a lawyer and stuff, baby. The judge gonna be like, oh, all right, I tell you what. She gonna get five hundred and fifty-seven dollars a month. <laughs> it's never better to put them on child support. Not the ones that take care of them. The ones that take good care of them, unless you're like 
Uh, I mean, even Tristan Thompson got to pay like two hundred thousand a month. That's ridiculous, baby. I'm gonna get. Uh, I'm gonna be able to see my child. Uh, we so I, what fifty fifty on that baby? We went fifty fifty on the baby in the first place, and you gonna get five hundred fifty seven dollars a month, if not three hundred and ninety seven. Some weird ass stupid number, four hundred and fifteen dollars a month and shit. Three sixty nine a month and shit. Yeah, Drake meat on there, like I said, on the Patreon. Drake on there like these. I'm telling, go go see for yourself. Go see for yourself. Hit the Patreon link. Go see for yourself. I'm telling you, Drake on there like these. That's ironic that this is a Jergens bottle, but you know what I'm telling you. Don't believe me, just watch. Now, the link is in the pinned comment. All right. On all the platforms I'm live on right now, which is three. All of them. Tap the, make it act like you activated with me. You ain't here with me. Man, gonna be like he aggravated. Chrissy, no. Get your intrusive thoughts and get away from me. I forgot what I was talking about. It's good, though. It's good. Y'all see it down my comments. Y'all see it down my comments. I mean, I see it down my comments. <laughs> if y'all don't want to see Drake meet, that's fine. That was just an option. Every time, like, I do a video with somebody else or a girl, they, y'all, y'all say, oh, well, y'all ain't about to see Kenzie no more. Y'all joke about something you ain't about to see Kenzie no more. Like y'all joking, but it, it's real though. <laughs> it's real. Like she just, she trying to control my life so much, y'all. It's crazy. Like, it's like, like I don't understand why like, we is not together no more, my nigga. You don't control nothing over here. Nothing. You didn't, you didn't help me get to where I'm at at, at all. Bitch, you weren't with me shooting in the gym, okay? If anything, my nigga, you pull me down every time. Every time you we get back on good terms and shit, like nigga, you draining, my nigga. And here we go again. And I just wanna let you know, I just wanna let you know, this co-parenting relationship we supposed to have, my nigga, you just, you just make this all the way worse, my nigga, because I hate your ass from the bottom of my heart. Damn. Like I like you really took your time to go down there and serve me these papers. Because I wouldn't send you no more bread. And you can pull the, the uh, oh, I have Kenzie more than you. You can do that. I, I already explained to me and you done talked about it, my nigga. Don't, it, I, there's never been that one time you say, hey, can you get Kenzie this day? I say, no. Like, I, or I just don't want it. It's never been that. Never been that, my nigga. And I don't know what y'all talk, like, talking about, talking about we still been messing around. I been cut that off. Last time she stayed at the house and she stayed in, 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 in she stayed in Kyle room. Like, Dang. Bro, Dang. at the end of the day. You know he don't want her, he make her stay in another room. Y'all, uh, choose your baby mama's wise. You know that, that what my mama told me long time ago. Well, she said choose your baby daddy's wisely because technically, you know, I got a coochie or whatever, but like know your baby daddy, choose him wisely, blah, blah, blah. She said that to me so much. I didn't even want to have no baby. I'm <laughs> straight. I don't want to put up this I shit. I never thought I would be put on child support. Uh, you feel me? I can see if I was in a way in, a, in another state or I'm not doing nothing. I'm not doing nothing to, to oh, provide damn, for I my daughter. Oh, damn. I reacted to that, too. I forgot. Or do nothing. Okay. But... But but since I don't want to do nothing, oh, wait, but since I don't want to do nothing for you, my nigga, you want to do all this and take my daughter out of my life and put me on child support? My nigga, you ain't get to buy her any shoes, my nigga, any clothes. You ain't get to do nothing for one on white because you can't because your ass is lazy. You don't do nothing. Like, man, bro. Like I told y'all, bro. I, I, I'm done sparing niggas. I'm done about people. It's feelings. All of that, my nigga. You don't care about my feelings. You don't care about my happiness. You you take away this whole. Why you why you trying so hard to hurt me, my nigga? You hurting your daughter and you claim you love her so much. And my nigga, if you didn't have your daddy in your life and you seen how that affected you, why would you make your daughter go through the same shit? Right. 
I'm with you when you're right on that one right there, boy. If you know how that feels to not have your daddy in your life, why you gonna make your daughter go through the same thing? That's some pitiful shit. You know what I hate the most, though? When the niggas make the videos first, then the girls come back with the video. God, I feel like she gonna have 27 receipts. At least 83 receipts. We gonna see, but shit, I hope she don't. <laughs> Cause I, I I think that, you know, not I don't think he's lying, but you know what I'm saying? I think he's very much so telling the truth and you, she dead ass wrong. I really got these papers, y'all. You, I, you, you know really? what? If y'all been watching them as long as I've been watching them, why do y'all think he tripping to be surprised that this is happening? Why is he surprised? I, I hate that for him. I hate that he's this surprised. And granted, I clearly I ain't with him. You know, I'm not with them together. But you know, it's like, bro, the way she do you. And he do seem like a great hearted guy. He does. I just, I don't understand why he wouldn't think. She's the last person that I wouldn't think would do that just because of the way she treat him. And, and you know what I'm saying? It's just a lot. <laughs> he took, took your time to go all the way downtown to sit in them people's face and, 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 and try and put me on child support. Why you hate me so much? What do you... What, what, like, what did I do to you for you that hate me so much to the point to where when we get into it, you block my number and block all forms of communication to get in contact with my daughter. But whenever, but whenever I try to contact, get in contact with you, I can't get in contact with you because I'm blocked. But then again, you can't call me a deadbeat because I do stuff for my baby. I do stuff for my child, and I want to be in my child's life. I love being a father. It's a type of love that I can't explain. Like, I'm real life trying to sit here and, and think. I know that washing machine, unless that's our washing machine. I think it, like, bro, this funny. And the crazy thing is, y'all, I just seen these papers. I texted her the other day or yesterday, and I said, yo, I'm trying to get in con I said, yo, I just said, yo, it didn't go through. Wanna know why? Cause I'm blocked. If, hold on, I remember one time you told me, tell me one time you told me something, something, I don't know how she gonna eat, boom, boom, this and that. So if I'm the only nigga or only person that can do something about that, why is you blocking me out, out, her, out, her, out the life? Out her life, why is you taking her away from me? When you see what type of smile I put on her face whenever she walk in a room, you say it yourself. Oh yeah, you're gonna be a daddy's girl. You're gonna be a daddy's girl. She's jealous. She's jealous. How she cry and she scream whenever I have to go home from seeing her. You see that. But you wanna block me out of her life, right? Y'all, like, I knew me and her relationship, co-parenting relationship was bad. But terrible. Like, Not I, bad. <laughs> no, it's fucking terrible. <clears throat> Real life did not think that it was going to get to this. Like, I hate you, dog. From the bottom of my heart. Like, I hate you, dude. I was with your ass for five years, bro. Like, you was my, you was my first love. And, like... <laughs> she was his love. Yeah, yeah. It's just, bro, I don't even know where to start, bro. We I, ain't even started yet, <laughs> Jordan. But no, nah, on a serious note, I know he upset, I, man. <laughs> you wanna, the nigga that was making sure you was straight, the nigga that's still got your back, the, the nigga that still got your back, even though we been- Well, not no more. Been broken up officially from like two years, 2022. Like, <laughs> When you didn't have it, when you want to win, when you didn't, when you don't have it, like, instead of asking me, why you don't ask them other niggas that you talk to? Uh-oh. Huh? That's cool, though. Uh-oh. It's cool. 
you want to you want to do this out of bitterness you want to do this out of spite you want to do this out of hate like you every time anytime you see me happy you try to bring it down like you drain me you want to drain my money from me like i don't know what you think i am a bank or an atm my nigga i got responsibilities nigga what you what you talking about i got double the bills what you saying nigga we pay bills at the foe house and i got my own apartment i pay for and yes y'all i got a one bedroom apartment back in like last like in last what what was it? It's January. I got one bedroom because I was like, I was like, okay, I got a crib. I got a, I got a room and a bathroom, everything at the house. I really don't need a two bedroom here because Kinsley sleep with me. You feel me? She sleep with me. Well, being in this house or being in this apartment and stuff like that, I realized. I'm Ooh, child, don't go to that courtroom and say that. Don't go to that courtroom and say that, Lord. Don't go to that courtroom and say that. Ooh, shit. Only reason why is because I, I don't well I I don't I don't know if you're not supposed to sleep with the mom slash not supposed to be sleep with the dad but you do know the child is supposed to have their own room period that's just the law um but yeah he need not to say that he need to go ahead and, I'm not gonna lie he need to go ahead and get the two bedroom upgrade go ahead and upgrade um and yeah just I would co Whatever I would have to do. I don't know how it's like cold suit, cold, whatever. Uh, and yeah, I'm getting 50 50 and you getting three hundred and um eleven dollars for the month. I was like, dang, I do need a two bedroom. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna upgrade to a two bedroom so my daughter can have her own room. Oh, but now I'm thinking like that should I even do that? Because is her room gonna stay empty? Is her room gonna stay empty? Cause I, I can't see her. I don't get to see okay, her. Okay, good, good. Okay, Kia, good. Hey, bro, I'm not gonna lie. Go ahead and make. You can respond in this video. You can say whatever you want to say. Go ahead and make your little coins, cause I know you need it. Okay. Go, go ahead and. And y'all know me, bro. Y'all know like I, I'm, I'm not the type of person to, to, to downplay anybody. That's going through tough times in life or nothing. Thank like, you, uh, friend Latronia. Thank you, friend. Like that I've never the type because I know how. Yeah, he definitely need to get that two bedroom. Like Kia, I, I definitely, definitely understand what you're saying, but just by law, they just they strict like that in in the courtroom. Like you know what I'm saying. So I would just have the two bedroom just to have it, but still sleep with me. Shit, if my baby want to sleep with me, that's where she gonna sleep. But by law, that see that's why you don't want the law involved in your shit. But by law, you know, he would be able to show I got her. She here goes her room. Here goes my room, period. I wish he would have did that before he made this damn video. But I understand he upset. He feels to really lose everything and go to zero dollars. I know how it feels. So I don't even like playing like that. But when you try to try to hurt me and drain me and take the love of my life out of my life and block her my life and block my number and, and do all this stuff out of bitterness and, and everything and when i try to put you on a hell of money in, in a bag my nigga and you do all this you take my baby from my life you block my number you want to put me on child support i don't got no respect for you no more i don't i don't i don't care about none of that i don't he's into the feelings part of it he, he got to think more out, outside of the feelings right now he got to get to the business. I know you definitely ain't getting nothing from me. You feel me? My camera uh, battery had overheated and everything, but like, like, bro, I'm, I'm just like, this, this, this is just crazy, man. Like, I don't even know what to say. Like, and I be seeing niggas like do stuff for their baby mama and everything, you know? And I be seeing on Instagram, on social media, like he doing this for his baby mama. He making sure she's straight. Like, I love to do that, like, I one thing about me, y'all love helping people, making sure people good. That's just, that's just, I got a big heart. That's just me, y'all. That's just me. Thank God I didn't buy you no car, oh. my nigga. Uh. I'm sitting here thinking like I'm about to buy you a car because you need a car to get around this and that. And you, and you, little do I know you hate, you hate my ass. <laughs> it's cool though, bro. I promise you. All this stuff you doing out of spite, out of evilness and like, I'm just trying to see, like, if you block me, if you block me out my kid life, whenever we get into it, how am I supposed to be there? He got to be a cancer. I ain't gonna, he got to be a cancer. Well, his birthday, he would have said something about his birthday coming up or something. He's a Scorpio. Okay, because I was about to say, he would have said something. Something. Like, you do it. 
No place, no car, no income, Jordan. Take her to court. Back. Every time. She can't even take care of the baby. Because that's what the judge going to say. Like, well, uh, I mean, what can you do to offer the, the baby? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, I got to go through other Good people. Good night, like, Nisi, I'm about to be 26 years old in November. You about to be 26 in September. I'm tired of going through your mama. And that's great. He just said his, just said his birthday. What, what problems? I'm tired of going. I have to go over there and knock on her door. Like, right. <laughs> it's, it's crazy, bro. Hey. At the end of the day, do what you got to do, my nigga. Do what you got to do. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep doing what I got to do. You see what I'm doing. I'm going to keep doing what I got to do. Do what you do, do what you got to do, bro. I don't, I don't even got nothing else to say, y'all. She played herself. I'm not about to. Just like Runic, baby mm -hmm. mama. She playing herself, too. She don't like Runic's lifestyle, but he pay for everything. I mean, even her clothes, shoes, and everything, and they not together. Girl, shut up. Like, well, he did have a rule. I know my hair look crazy. <laughs> he did have a rule, or he does have a rule of her not bringing niggas to the crib. But uh, he, he too busy being out there, you know, smashing on his other women. He won't have enough time to see me having some niggas up in the crib. You know what I'm saying? But whatever. Man, bro. It's, it's just, it's just. It's just blowing me, y'all. Just last month, I just told this girl that she can stay in my apartment. So she can have a roof over her head so she can get from out the space of living with her mama. So she can actually try to be, be more comfortable in doing videos and doing all of this. <laughs> and this is what I get. I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know what I did to you. I don't, I don't know, like, you mad because we not together. That's exactly I, I, what it is. I don't know what it is. It's good though, bro. Kinsley, baby, from the bottom of my heart, I swear I love you so much. I know you, you, you don't understand what's going on. You can't even talk right now. But daddy love you, you feel me? And I was, I was hoping that me and your mama get back on good terms and we, Everybody already knows that we we got a bad pass and we got Terrible we got pass. a trouble pass of getting to with each Real other. Real bad pass, bad bad pass. So I was just hoping that like our relationship, a co-parenting relationship, got better, you know. And I knew I knew I was kind of making our co-parenting relationship worse whenever I knew that we wasn't together, but we were still doing the things that we was doing, you know, laying down together and everything. But once I stopped that and I got all my feelings out the way or and, and not involved anymore, and the fact that I'm still, we still going down this path, baby, I, I pray one day we get through this. You know what I'm saying? Because I love you and I want to be around you. And you know that I love you. I know you can feel it. I know you can. But daddy love you. And I pray it, one day we're we, we going we gonna to get this figured out. We gonna get this figured out. Take her ass to court. We gonna get this all figured out. Upgrade, upgrade to a two bedroom. Um, you know, have your affairs in order and your paperwork in order. Take her motherfucking ass to court. Period. You gonna win. I promise you. You gonna need a nanny at that point because you gotta work, but you gonna win. But I love you. I just, I just wanna let you know from the bottom of my heart, I love you. I really do. Yeah, y'all, that's really it, bro. That's really it, man. That sucks when these women won't let these um won't let these uh men see their they children and they really, you know, they love them and it's just it's it's fucked up. Hey, um I love you, my baby. You know what I'm saying? I, I I never stop loving you no matter what I gotta go through. My love for you would never diminish. It's like that's a a, a feeling I, I can't even explain. But yeah, y'all. I got these papers. I got these child support papers. I'm not about to keep talking y'all head off. You know what I'm saying? Um, yep. I've probably been talking in circles. Yep. But. Okay. <laughs> not about to sit back, bro, and do nothing with your life and try to drain all my money and everything away from me. Jordan. <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> We 
was <laughs> we was just calming down. <laughs> I know he'd be part of the problem in the argument. The way he's been going off, he is a part of the problem. And 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 I ain't done either. I got something else to say. <laughs> That's me too. I, I am not done until I'm done, baby. But damn, it's just hilarious. Your personal problem is not my personal problems no more. I tried to help you. I tried to uplift you. I tried to put you around people to do videos with in the house. You don't want to do no videos with nobody in the house when I bring you around. I still recently just did, before we got back on bad terms again, I still just did a video with you. I can tell you no. I can, I can tell you no, I don't want to do no videos with you because we're not even together no more. I could be a, I could be a petty ass baby daddy and be like, no, why would I do videos with you? Why, right, so you can make your money and go be with somebody else? No, my nigga, I'm being a real nigga. I'm being a real nigga. I'm trying to put money in your pocket so you can be good. But you wanna know why? Because you carry my child and you're the mother of my child. And I know for her to be good, you gotta be good too. But nah, you don't you you don't think like that. You just you just you wanna hurt her daddy. You know what I'm saying? You wanna hurt your child's father take her out of my life or try to take her out of my life and you try to control, you still try to control me and try to control my life. This, that's not how I go. I yeah. control everything with my life. I'm a grown ass man. <sighs> y'all don't understand, bro, what I be going through. To all the fathers out there that love y'all kid and y'all going through the same thing. Like y'all, y'all know how it feels to lay down at night knowing that you just want to hug your baby. Hug your child. Y'all, the camera better keep getting overheated, man. But I didn't really say everything. I didn't got everything out my out my off my chest for real. Um at the end of the day I'm dealing dealing with my bum ass bitter baby mama. And that's just that's that's just the truth. You just wanna drain everything from me. But message to everybody out there, bro. I don't care if you with somebody for five years. I don't care if you with somebody for three years, 10 years, seven years. Cause I was with mine for five. Pay attention to the small things. The small, small things, whatever she do in the argument. How the camera's tight. How she act, the little slugs, just, just, I know you can't tell the future, but try your best to pay attention because no matter how long you with, some, with somebody, no matter how much you think you know them or, or, or how much you think they, Got your back like you got your, like you got theirs. It's, it's never that. You know what I'm saying? So, man, I'm about to get out of here, y'all, bro. I just had she to get that on my chest. Y'all, everybody better. around me and y'all know how I'm coming behind my baby. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. It's all good. The, and the only thing, the only thing she can say is that she got her more than me. I, nigga, you don't work at all. My nigga, you sit back. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan, he gets calm and he went to <laughs> behind my baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's all good. It's straight. It's okay. all good. The and the only thing, the only thing she can say is that she got her more than me. <laughs> I, nigga, you don't work at all. My nigga, you sit back and do nothing all day. Duh, I work more than you. So duh, you're gonna have her more. But I bet every time you ask for something, I send it, right? Every time she needs something, I send it, right? All right. Hey, bro. I love all y'all, my, all oh. my supporters and everything like that. But this is what I'm dealing with at the moment. So I haven't been able to see Kinsley. And I'm probably not even about to see her for guys know how long. So take her ass to court. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but we're going to keep our head high. And we're going we gonna to keep it pushing. And we ain't gonna slow down. We ain't gonna slow down. So, Kenzie, once again, I love you, baby. You, you will see one day we gonna we gonna get this figured out. We gonna we gonna get this figured out for sure. I didn't even I didn't even open up child support review process notice. We can help you with your child support case at the office, uh, uh, Attorney General. Please attend your child support review no negotiation. Schedule for oh the thirtieth <laughs> next week. <laughs> Can't believe I'm dealing with this, y'all. Hey, bro, I love y'all, man. I'm, I'm I'm about to get off of this, bro, because I'm gonna just keep on yapping. I'm gonna keep on talking, cause keep on, bro. 
All right, y'all. I love y'all, bro. I'm out. I'm trying to let him get it out. I ain't even got a yeah, I was letting him get it out. <sighs> Jordan, you should do reactions next. That'll help with the bag, too. Uh, I would take her to court. I would get a lawyer, and I would take her to court. Probably don't even need a lawyer, but I would get one. Um, and I know that's more money, but it is what it is. Um... I would add up, you know, get all my receipts together. Um, I would absolutely upgrade to a two bedroom for sure. That would have been the first thing I did um, because I knew I was about to take her ass to court. Um, that's it. That's what I would do and, you know, see where it go. You see CJ so cool one. And then I don't even think Roy to even get child support and CJ so cool has made millions. I don't know about Jordan, but CJ so cool has made millions. I don't think he even pay her child support. If he do, it ain't much. Oh, no. Nope. Yeah. He might not even, she might not even get granted that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, um, is it possible to upgrade in four days? Um, well, considering that he does have to go to court on the 29th, maybe not, but it is possible to counter sue and hold off the process. And it, granted she take him to child support court. So that's not necessarily a lawyer type style situation. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like if he got a lawyer involved and the lawyer can go speak for him, that will prolong all of that. I feel, but I could be wrong. I don't, I don't know, but I would try it. I would try it. Um, and I would specifically get the lawyer for that reason. So the lawyer can hold off the process. So I then can upgrade and, you know, do that. And, you know, money talk over bullshit, but he would have to be willing to spend that bag. So that's also another thing. So it's kind of up to him. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey,